back to my channel today. I'm doing a general love reading for sign of Libra, and keep in mind this will not resonate for every Libra. If you like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. All right, and while we're talking about the description there, you will see my website. You will see my Etsy shop, which you definitely should check that out. Maybe buy something, you know, Christmas right around the corner. Go buy your friend or family something, right? <laughs> Uh, different social media platforms I'm on, even Twitch and Patreon. Speaking about Twitch, we'll be on Twitch every Sunday, so you should definitely, you know, drop by, give a follow, watch, you know, all that stuff. All that's in the description down below. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate your donation. Someone donated recently. Thank you. I don't know if you're watching this. I don't know what sign you are, but thank you. Okay. Uh, on the bottom of the deck of what's currently happening... We have the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, Libra. So what it feels like is, I do see some communication happening between you and this person, but what it feels like is that either you or them is acting this way. Like, either you are acting like this connection is not all that towards them, or they're not all that towards them, like kind of like downplaying the connection, or they're like that towards you, or both, or whatever. Now with it being Pentacles, they could be an Earth sign, with Earth or they have earth placements, or you do, or even if you don't, it doesn't matter. Have a look at the past between you and them. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Strength card, which is Leo with the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is water. Past between you and them, what it feels like is that you walked away from this person, you held back, and you walked away. Um, meanwhile, they've been deep in their feelings about you, but, like, holding back their feelings, like, they've been wanting to express their feelings to you, but you, you kind of walked away from this person. So, have a look how they currently feel towards you. We have the Six of Cups, the Unknown, the Seven of Cups. Now, what's, what's unknown to you, Libra, is that maybe you feel like this person's off, like, with other people or something. I don't really see them being off with other people. Like, I don't see them entertaining other options. I think their main focus is you. They still feel that connection towards you. They still have that emotions for you. Now, there may be, like, other people wanting to approach them, but I don't really see them entertaining other options. Alright. It just feels like you are the main thing that they're wanting here. I don't like how you feel towards them. We have the King of Pentacles, which is Earth, the Nine of Swords, the High Priestess, which is Pisces. How you feel towards them is it's like you think about this person a lot and you know that this person is thinking about you. You have this intuition of how this person feels about you. Like, you know they feel more about you than they let on here. Alright. Also see you kind of trying to hide your emotions from them. Kind of act like a king of pentacles here. A priestess. Have a look at their intentions towards you. We have the seven of pentacles. The tower. Which is Scorpio. With temperance, which is Sagittarius. So how they feel towards you is it's like they, they, they intend on making a move towards you, Libra. Like unexpectedly offering something towards you. Alright, this is a good offer that they're wanting to offer, but they're wanting you to come back around or speak to them or show some sort of sign first so that they can offer you this. Until then, they're going to be waiting for you to do something. Have a look at your intentions towards them. We have the Ace of Cups. Five of Swords, Ace of Swords. Your intentions towards them is kind of weird. So your intentions is to be truthful and honest towards this person and have a new start, but to also act like at the same time kind of like you, you don't care or... I don't know, where you're doing something that... It's weird, because it's like you attend on showing emotions and having a new start, but also at the same time not to, or kind of acting like this person doesn't really matter as much to you, which is kind of hurtful towards them, in a way. Five of Swords. Have a look at the outcome between you and them. We have the Three of Wands, King of Swords, which is your own card here. The Judgment. Outcome between you and them is a return. It feels like you're expecting this. And it feels like they're expecting you here. Alright, so you're both expecting one another. You're both expecting a return, new start, second chance with one another here. So that's quite interesting. Messages and advice for you. We have number 10, with Journey. Free yourself. 
forgiving and learning. Let your friends help you. Denial. No. Offer a soulmate. So this is definitely a soulmate here. And like I said, I do see a second chance in you guys working out whatever issues you had before. I also see that one of you could be traveling to the other one, or they could be traveling together their journey. Um, but yeah, this person's definitely going to be making an offer towards you. Now one thing, I think you need to, one of you needs to get out of, like there's some friend groups or, or something, some outside forces that's not really in a love way, like friends or family. That one of you needs to release, like, the people that try to, like, get in your head or their head about this relationship. That needs to be released. Alright, somebody's not seeing it as that way. Kind of, like, in denial about who's around them, but that needs to be released. Free yourself. Let your friends help you. Denial. Okay. So, that is all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below for personal reading. And if you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.